thank you very much and good morning to to everyone uh, big thanks also from my side to uh, have the opportunity to discuss with uh, with you today i think it's a it's a crucial phase we are uh, now entering with the finalization of the of the national recovery and resilience plan and and, and a good uh, and a good moment to to exchange uh, as was mentioned before by the Prime Minister and by Mr. Dijsselbloem, uh, we, we really have a, a, a unique opportunity now uh, to address the consequences of, of the pandemic and not only to get out of the pandemic, but, but also to build the resilience of our economies and to make them more, more competitive. For Croatia, we have a, a particular magnitude of the challenge uh, because, as was mentioned before, since the amount, uh, the absolute amount in, in absolute terms, but also in, in percentage, of, uh, of GDP uh, is uh, the highest uh, in, um, in in the EU, so it is a huge opportunity, but it is uh, also a, a big a big challenge for for Croatia. On the on the opportunity, um, as in the green transition was uh, was uh, was mentioned several times uh, seven times before, uh, it is uh, really the driver and 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 a growth model that uh, that we want to have uh, for the for the EU as a whole, uh, and uh, and both the uh, channeling of the expenditure. Uh, towards uh, climate-friendly uh, investments and the compliance uh, with the do no significant harm principle will be will be crucial in that uh, in that respect. And and why is that? Because as as was uh, as was said, we want to have learned uh, from the financial crisis. We what we saw in the financial crisis uh, was that a lot of the investments went to unsustainable. Um, sustainable uh, sectors and, uh, and 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 business models, uh, and that they helped to recover, but but they didn't help to make our economies more sustainable. And this is really one of the lessons we we have learned, and 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 why the green deal and the do no significant harm principle are so much at the core uh, of the of the recovery plans that uh, that uh, that we see. Digital as well. I think if we've learned one thing, uh, and and this morning again, unfortunately, if we've learned one thing from the from the pandemic uh, is is how uh, connectivity and 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 digital uh, digitalization of, uh, of of all the economy are are crucial for business continuity and also for competitive uh, competitiveness going going forward. So that's that's also one one key component that we see in all the national uh, recovery and, and resilience plan, and, and Croatia will will be no exception in that uh, in that respect. But um, what is also essential is to is to build is to build a resilience and the resilience. Uh, if if we look at economies like uh, like Croatia, uh, will uh, will come from a number of factors, starting with the functioning of the labour market. The, the greater participation uh, of, uh, of all uh, workers to the labor market, uh, the older ones, the younger one who has been particularly hit uh, by unemployment in these times of, uh, of pandemic, uh, but also the women and, uh, and the possibility to work, uh, to work longer and, and, and longer hours is, is one uh, key challenge uh, for the resilience of the economy. And this is a particular one for, for, for Croatia. And these, uh, these, these measures will have to be enshrined in the in the plan. I think it's a legal requirement. Uh, the country-specific recommendations have to be uh, have to be observed. But it is also a must if we want uh, the economies to be to be stronger going uh, going forward. Another particular challenge in terms of resilience for Croatia will be the diversification of the of the economy. So we we saw how uh, the sole focus on uh, on tourism uh, has weakened uh, the the ability uh, of, uh, of of Croatia to weather. Uh, the, the crisis and more diversification uh, will be uh, will be really uh, important. And finally, in terms of uh, of reforms, uh, the the business climate and the functioning of the of the public administration uh, will will have to be uh, seriously taken care of through the uh, the measures included in the plan uh, if we want the whole uh, the whole thing to to succeed. And that brings me actually to the uh, to the challenges that uh, that are there. For all member states, but but in particular for for Croatia, the plan will will roll over six years. And planning for six years, we know we know this uh, from from experience, is is a very difficult endeavor. Having a clear uh, timeline and, and and clear content for all the reforms and the investment over such a long period of time is is uh, is is an objective uh, an objective challenge. That's true for the public investment. But that, also, that is also true for the private investment, which uh, the, um, the, the Croatian Prime Minister recalled uh, has to be at the, at the center of the, of the Croatian plan. Making sure that those investments are, are properly targeted, that they do reach really uh, growth and that they are well, uh, that is money well, well spent, uh, is, a, is a huge endeavor and has to be uh, calibrated properly in, uh, in, in the plan. 
The second and, 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 and new challenge for Croatia is absorption. I think the fact that, that so much funding uh, is, is coming uh, to the economy is a good news, but is also a, a, a difficulty uh, to absorb and make sure that they are not wasted, that they are well, uh, well, well used, and that they do turn into jobs, uh, in, into growth, uh, and that they can be spent within the, the very short timeline of the facility. As you, as you know, I think all the commitments will have to be made by 2023 and no payment will be made after 2026 under the facility. So the money will, be, will simply be lost if it hasn't been uh, put to good, to good use in, uh, in, in the meantime. And to meet that, uh, that, that challenge of, uh, of absorption, I'm, I'm coming back to the public administration uh, and to the justice system that, uh, that, that will have uh, to be uh, deeply, uh, deeply reformed uh, to ensure that the, that, that the economy can uh, actually absorb those, uh, uh, those extra uh, funds and, and, and opportunities for, for growth. That will also require from, from the government uh, and, and, and from, the, from the whole society a very, uh, a very strong governance uh, structure for the implementation of the, of the investment and of the reforms. And that, of course, needs to rely on ownership, national ownership and, and participation. That's why I'm welcoming very much the public consultation that is, uh, that is about to start, but also of a very strong steer from the, from the central government and a very efficient territorial organization. Uh, to, to, to make sure that the, the, the funds are not scattered or, or dispersed, uh, but, but really well, uh, well used. And, and finally, and that was also mentioned by the Prime Minister, but it is absolutely essential both for ERM2 and for the implementation of the plan, the fight against corruption and conflict of interest uh, and, and the, the existence of very robust uh, system of audit and control for the implementation of the plans uh, is, uh, is an, absolute, uh, an absolute must. All of those challenges uh, will have to be met uh, if we want the opportunity to, to materialize, and, and we all uh, do, do want this. So it means that the timeline is, uh, is, is, uh, is daunting, uh, really, yes, and to have all of these uh, issues addressed and properly addressed uh, in the plan before the end of April uh, is, uh, is, is really a challenge. Uh, but we, we are here to help uh, from, the, from the European Commission and, and, and very determined and committed uh, to make this uh, a reality for Croatia. Uh, as uh, as quickly as uh, as possible thank you